Well, you've heard all about this, I'm sure. A University of Iowa student, as they say, lucky to be alive after blowing the dangerous .341 blood alcohol content level on Saturday. Yes, yeah, she's topping headlines across the nation. Police arrested Samantha Goody at Saturday's Hawkeye game after police say she tried to get on the field at Kinnick Stadium. She later tweeted under her Twitter handle, Vodka Sam, just went to jail, hashtag YOLO, which means you only live once. That Twitter feed appears to have been deactivated. KWWL Dubuque reporter Becca Hobbaker today talking with medical experts about alcohol consumption. Boy, this is a terrific example, obviously. Uh, she joins us live in our Dubuque newsroom at the Telegraph Herald. And Becca, actually, doctors say a blood alcohol content level of 0.3 could be potentially deadly. That's right, Amanda and Ron, while this incident with Samantha Goody has garnered a lot of attention, it really should be pointing to the dangers of excessive alcohol consumption. Doctors say somebody who has a .3 BAC could risk slipping into a coma and their body essentially forgetting to breathe. Anything higher than a .3, they say, and that person could really be facing death's doorstep. Here at Clark University in Dubuque, 22-year-old student Morgan Sullivan says she drinks socially with friends but has toned it down a bit from her earlier college years. I'm playing soccer and I just got over mono and chronic fatigue, so I've been pretty kept up. You know, I and the toll that it takes on my body, I can't afford to do that as much anymore. She says some of her classmates do binge drink. Experts define that as drinking that brings someone's blood alcohol content level to 0.08. Generally, for men, that's five drinks in two hours, and for women, four drinks in two hours. The thing that scares me the most is some kid who's laying there or almost unconscious. A 12-ounce cup of beer has the alcohol equivalent of one 5-ounce glass of wine or a 1.5-ounce shot of 80-proof alcohol. Sometimes students are drinking alcohol in one of those red or blue plastic cups, and those contain more than one serving of alcohol. And a breathalyzer does not recognize that it's only one cup. Doctors say the amount of alcohol in your body drops by half every four hours. So if after a night of drinking, a person's BAC is 0.2, four hours later it will be 0.1, in four more hours it will be 0.05, and so on. A good guideline is don't drink more than one alcohol drink per hour. Experts say it's precisely because you only live once that you should protect the one life you have. Now, many people may be familiar with this red cup referenced in this story. This holds 18 ounces of liquid, so if it's completely filled with beer, that's technically one and a half drinks. Experts just encourage people to keep track of how many drinks you've had and within what time span you've had them. Live in the Dubuque newsroom at the Telegraph Herald, Becca Hobbiger, KWWL News. Hi, right, Becca, thanks very much. Unfortunately, it usually takes a rather negative situation for the point to be actually be driven home. Like know, this I, one right I, here. And by the way, we reached out to University of Iowa student Samantha Goody to see if she had any comment on this story or her arrest, but she did not get back to us today. I actually did send her a tweet.